Yo. Yo. It's dead in this town. You know? It's crazy. Gotta shake things up. Yo. For real. Let's go. Quiet night. There is no sound. Who needs a light? No fun around. Hey, True. This is Mitch True Redbone. I just got off of work. I did. I did. Um, who knows what the evening holds? I'm just trying to see why these two men are sitting up here in this truck like this, um, halfway park, like in between two parking spots. But that's neither here or there. Let me let me get my mind right. So, um, your girl has been on the road today, and. I was contemplating not doing this video, but why the fuck wouldn't I, you know? It's a reaction, reacting to he's been sleeping with someone on the side. You know how it goes, so the trifecta, you guys. Um, first of all, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Y'all know I am not a secret. Let everybody know, pass me around, tell them to come see me. Where I be, you know, on Miss True Redbone's channel. Come and see me. Um, I'm gonna give my commentary because why not? You know. Uh I'm gonna roll home. We gonna listen to this uh video. And this is my Jasmine life. That's what it is. This is that person, my Jasmine life. So um and remember comment i like comments whether they are good or bad you know whatever you gotta say might be acknowledged um if it's negative or not but overall i respond to all my comments i'm very proud of that i like to like to kick it in the comments with the true family so yeah keep it coming y'all let me quit messing with my hair before my mama get me so why you always mess with your hair yeah leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone mama all right y'all so we are going to listen to this video um you know it's the trifecta of the three mommies you know show mommy chrissy man cheated whatever left whatever then we had um as uh we had olivia's Liv, lives life make her video yesterday about he's been cheating the whole relationship and then we have uh jasmine come on my jazzy life um come on and say you know here are a few tips you can follow now disclaimer it is totally up to you if you want to listen to her tips and i'm gonna leave that right there Let's get it started. Let's get this party started. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all. When a man is on their phone, constantly, constantly on their phone. Okay. And every time you walk by them, they are instantly like just. She fumbling with the phone. Why did you fumble it over the phone right now? I didn't do nothing. I literally just walked by. Oh, well, girl, go on by. He's cheap. If he just sitting there on his phone like, then you walk by. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Why oh. is you fumbling over your phone? Their things is like, and they put it face down. Another one. Now this one, I've been through this one too. They show up to the house late, especially if you. First of all, the fumbling with the phone, yeah, that would be a red flag. Um, fumbling with the phone, suddenly trying to log out of something, or suddenly, you know, trying to put it away before you figure out what's going on. Yeah, that is a, that's a, a bomb set off in your face. And if you don't acknowledge that, then you ain't ready for the truth, obviously. That's what I get out of it. If you don't acknowledge that he damn near dropped that phone on the floor, trying to log out, trying to get rid of the text message, trying to get off of whatever he was on, 
and you don't notice him fumbling over there then you you are you already have you probably got your mindset to i'm not fucking with this today i don't want to deal with this today i'm not ready to deal with this um and that's what it is so i do agree with the fumbling of the phone now being on the phone a lot um me and my husband you know when we winding down we actually sit right next to each other on our phones um side by side i'm doing something on mine he's doing something on his of course i'm doing youtube stuff or whatever or i'm posting my stuff to facebook or instagram so either or you know so we are on our phones a lot that that necessarily isn't a a cheating mood a, a cheating type of uh situation every time you know but if you if you know that you're dealing with a cheater everything is going to be a flag everything is going to be a whoa like a stop sign you know know that your man does not work that late or he does not work nights or he just says yeah man i was with the i was with the bros we was out late we was partying it just got out of hand i i forgot you know i wasn't doing nothing you was with the bros but you couldn't pick up your phone or text me since he's cheating now don't get me wrong i'm not gonna say i'm insecure but you gotta open your eyes and see the sign do you hear me for example I mean, you don't have to say that you're insecure. Um, there, there should definitely be a line of communication. If you know you're not coming straight home after work, let a sister know. You know, it's common, common courtesy in a relationship, especially, you know, uh, common courtesy in a relationship. So, if you know that you're coming home late or that you want to go kick it with the boys and y'all plan something just let a sister know you know what i'm saying what's going down keep the lines of communication open if your man has been out all night you know we us women we like to give our man some freedom and that's been me i don't feel like you know you want to go out and hang with your bros but just let you know baby when you come home because i let you go out and hang out with your friends when you come home we okay my opinion from my perspective my husband and i 23 years um there is no we're we are both adults in this situation so there is no letting each other do anything if he if he wants to go kick it with the guys and he calls me and say hey babe i'm going to kick it with the boys or whatever and i i say something or act like i don't want him to go guess what my baby won't go he'll come home but if he you know if i don't mind go ahead Shit, sometimes you need a break from each other so sure go go hang with the boys um we are some homebodies anyway so when he say he's going to hang I'm all for it. See you when you get, see you later on when you get home, you know. But if you already know that you do not trust somebody, that's already a huge flag. And who wants to live that way? That is a, that's, that's a torturous type of relationship when you don't actually trust your significant other because every little thing that they do you are going to already say or already think that they're doing something wrong and that's because you don't have any trust for each other that's not a good thing not a good thing at all just know I'm gonna be ready like if y'all my face tell everything y'all if you walk by and you're like babe I don't feel like having sex when I'm really tired I'm drunk. no sex drive that's number four I'm about to hit the showers hit the shower you're about to what you're about to get the shower let me smack your dick call me y'all hear that did y'all hear that, y'all hear that? at the end of the day let me smell your dick that's when it's that's when it's to me that's disgusting and that's when it's went too far 
that's when it's gone too far if you gotta put your face in a motherfucking crotch every time they come home because they late or because they say they tired that that relationship was over a long time ago right now y'all just doing something to pass the time you just want some company you just got a roommate because ain't no fucking way i i want to let me smell your dick nah no thank you i don't want i don't want no parts of that relationship i don't that's just fucking show y'all what she did she said if he turned that big old if he turned that big down what the fuck was that yo wavy ass body <laughs> what was that because that what i don't know what that was y'all go watch go see for yourself while it's still up but that shit caught me by some, i'm like what the hell was that a wave the fuck really be it trying the next one <laughs> so say you and Bay are having <laughs> sex or whatever say you and Bay are getting it in mm -hmm. and you know you just feel like something's not and ladies how many times have you went out with your girls now you know girls night out y'all go out it's turn up you know you turning up when you go out with the girls and y'all drinking and y'all having a great time laughing cracking jokes all night long dancing how many times have you went out with the girls stayed to the club clothes came home and was too tired to do anything so what's your excuse were, were you cheating no i'm fucking tired i've been drinking drinking and drinking dancing I know how I am with my girls when we go out. It's like fucking party, you know. We have a we have a great time. We just all click and laughing, laughing, cracking jokes, drinking, dancing, you know. After all of that, and don't let it be a work day too. You tired? You motherfucking tired? I'm tired than a motherfucker. You know, you don't want to necessarily go home and jump on somebody bones. So that's not a, that don't that does not have to be a red flag. But if you're looking for it, everything is going to be a red flag or a stop sign. You know, they just use two different symbols. One had a flag, one had a stop sign. But mm. and she keep. Y'all know when me and my husband was together we and we had our first baby, his girls, his, his friends, his guys would always say, wifey, mm -mm, don't you give nobody that, don't you give no man that title before they actually did what they had to do to make you a wife. So quit calling men that are not your husband, your husband. Unless y'all common law, then that's different. But don't be giving somebody a title that they have not earned, earned or that you guys have not actually went through with because why would they have to go and marry you if you already calling them husband or a hubby or, you know, just my perspective. They used to try to call me wifey, uh-uh. I'm his, I'm his children's mom. I'm not a baby mama. Um, I, I'm none of that. I am his, before we got married, I am his children's mom. That's who I am. I am his kid's mother. Don't call me wifey. That get a, get, that get some, that get, that make a man think they ain't gotta go no further. You already got, they already gave you the title without no follow through. 
Nada. What do you do to make them go? Mm, mm. That means he mm. earlier. You gotta do something to make him do that. Getting somebody elsewhere, okay? If he just and there's no such thing as oh, I'm just not in the mood, so I'm just gonna have to. If you're not in the mood, don't have to ask me. Just don't do me. Don't do me at all. But you just let me know from the get go you're not in the mood. Oh, yeah, gee, this is another one, honey. You wanna know if he's cheating? Keep little stuff. I'm gonna tell y'all a little something. I when I was pregnant, I started noticing hubby would go out and he was doing extra for a minute. He didn't care about his appearance. But all of a sudden he started focusing on his hair. You guys know hubby. Well, y'all know who he was, right? His hair was starting to receive. It was, his hair was receding. He started doing extra stuff, like getting hair care products and was just like so don't try to improve yourself with your bait. Please don't. Don't go buy you new clothes. You know, don't don't do anything to your body because we don't want the next person to think that you're cheating. Don't care about you. Don't start to realize that hey, I need to do something with myself. Don't do that. Don't. Because we don't want nobody to think that you out here being a hoe. I mean, you know, just because you want to wash your ass and pick out your hair or put some new kind of oil in it or something you know, god forbid you know i know a woman scoring at something but it's just crazy how you see all the signs after the fact you 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 talking about you peeped this when you was pregnant so why wasn't there a plan of action then you know I want to grow my hair out. I want to look good. I want okay. to look good. Okay, good. You know, I get it. All men, we we both should be fine. We want to have hair in our head. Ain't no way you're going to be walking around looking great and I look toe up from the flow up. Vice versa, you know? Don't get me wrong. But if you start doing too, too much, it's more than what you expect. He might be sleeping around. He might not be. Damn. Well, one thing he might be doing is sleeping around. Let me see about this one. So when a man, y'all had y'all in the bed, y'all kidding it, and yeah, y'all just uh, and then he's like, hey, baby, let me try this, let me try something different. Please. What did you try to do? I get it. We're I'm fighting my relationship. I'm down. You I'm fucking down. You wanna, uh, what are we doing tonight? Okay, I get it. But How I gotta put my leg? Let me try. Shit. Cause I like trying new things, honey. Shit. So that's a sign of cheating too, if you bring something. If you bring something new to the bedroom, that's a sign of cheating too. Hell, we couldn't have just watched porn that day. I couldn't have just watched some porn that day and be like, oh, I want to try this tonight. Let me see if if daddy want to, you know, try to do this new trick or, um, come on. Shit, it's best to try to keep, keep it alive. Do what you got to do with some, bring me some new tricks. Love it. I don't think you're cheating. Shit. Trying this new stuff with why you try and try new stuff on me, you know, like who is trying to spice your ass up. With? It's stuff starting getting suspicious in the bed, and you're like, huh, you ain't never done this before. Who ain't taught you this? I can't live this way. What do you think is going on? <laughs> Probably got something from somebody else. Now, this is one, too. We couldn't have just watched porn. I mean, so I always, I will consistently ask you a question. Porn throughout the day, why not? Shit, sometimes you need. Seriously, you know, I was chilling with the friends, and you know, we were just chilling. Why, when that phone ring, ring, you didn't pick up, but you sent me a text. You didn't pick up, but you sent me a text, hunty. Oh, baby, it's not even like, no, 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 no. It's nothing like anything. You need to tell me why you didn't pick up. Were you cheating? What was you doing? Oh, I was just chilling with the friends. Like he gonna tell you he was cheap. Yeah, popcorn in my teeth, y'all. What do we do? If our man calls us or sends us a text, we are on it. If yeah. I want to be loyal to our man, I can always be that person. If I went out and he texts me as long as I got service, because y'all know some places like 6th Street, they don't have service. I'm texting way back. There's no if, if, but about it. If you want to know what I'm doing, how I'm, I'm checking in on you to make sure you're still good. Make sure you ain't locked up. Make sure you ain't drunk out on the ground. Guys, I just want to go on here and chat with y'all because I was just thinking like the sign that we get when men are cheating is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And we just sit here and we ignore it. That's why I did it. She 
right about that in part. A lot of people do ignore a lot of signs that are put in front of them because they are not ready to deal with reality. That's true. I agree with that much of her video that a lot of a lot of signs get um ignored for sure but i don't see anything wrong with trying to spice up the bedroom shit like i said maybe he was watching porn that day thought of you and came home and wanted to put it down just like that i'm here for it, daddy let me just give me a minute let me just um let me get some stretches in first you know let me pop some pop my knees and my legs and my hips and then i'm all in you know <laughs> for real uh, tell me what y'all think about the video, y'all. Um, just tell me what y'all think about uh, this Jasmine, my Jasmine life. Tell me what y'all think, cause uh, it was it was some some were on point, but living that way would drive me crazy. Like every everything is a sign that you are a cheater. But yeah, let me know what you think. This is Miss True Redbone. I'm on my way home. I gotta go be a mom and a wife and a grandma because my baby is there, my grandson. Make sure you guys like or dislike, comment, subscribe, share, share me up, share me around, pass me around. <laughs> Tell your mama, daddy, sister, brother, auntie, uncle to come by here and see Miss True Redbone. And don't you let the door hit you or the good Lord split you. All right, you guys. Peace. See y'all another day.